So... How? In this Tabs Map Creator gameplay, I'm gonna be showing you some of the most epic maps and of course, we're gonna be starting with this one. How does this map actually work? Or rather, does it actually work? And believe it or not, the answer is... There's a main entrance here with a compound, which you can then go left, which leads you into this section round here with another entrance down there. Or you could go to the right, which then comes round here. It goes into this main throne room here, where there's a defensive area where you can shoot over the edge of the balcony. Or you can come out round the side and up yet another layer to a temple area with lots of shiny. Mm. So, let's deploy some units. Okay, so this is what we're doing for the Greek army defending not Sparta. As you can see on the first level, we've got a bunch of Peltists defending the walls. As we move up one layer, you'll see we've then got archers. Then there's also archers and Peltists on the other side here, which will defend the secondary entrance. We've got some Spartan cavalry, and I've also just realized I completely forgot about this entrance here, so, you know, it's too late for that. Now, for the team that's going to be attacking Sparta, we're gonna put down down. Yeah, let's put down the Roman army. This arguably might be the worst cavalry I've ever come across in the Tabs map creator. I mean, one of them is riding their horse. Bro, why do you look like you're squeezing out an uncomfortable poo? He looks like the he looks like the guy from 300. You know, like the Spartan like a uh, re reject. The guy who's like. <gasps> okay, so this is what we've got for the Roman assault on Sparta. I mean, the map again is just like it's bewildering how good it is. We've got the main Roman infantry down here. Then across the map we've got. Oh my God, it's another. Disgusting small head. Ugh. We've got two pseudo formations of this size, and we've also got some mini ones here, and they're gonna be dotted throughout the map. <laughs> I mean, if you think that's bad, then just take a second to just look at this. I don't know if this horse's spine is ready for battle, I'll be honest with you. This guy's cripplingly underfed. This guy's, I don't know, he looks like he's being glued to his horse. This guy's horse is riding him. Yeah, it's not the most professional Roman army we've ever seen, but time for speculation is over as the battle begins. Let's see this initial cavalry charge. Oh my god, the special forces just annihilated the Roman equities. Uh, sorry, the- No, actually they didn't. The Roman equities no, 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 yeah, they, yeah, they did. No, 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 sorry, the Roman equities and the special forces are the same thing. What's wrong with me? No, the, pa the map was too good to be true. I can't believe this has happened. Oh, that is absolutely horrifying. I don't believe this has happened. What a miserable start to the battle. Here, I tell you what we could do, though. I mean, to be Oh, Jesus, what was that? I swear something just flew past my face. Am I seeing things? Was that- Or was that on screen? I don't even know. Okay, I don't even know, but uh, I'm a little bit creeped out by that. I'm not gonna lie. I swear it was massive. Maybe it was on screen. If I catch that in a recording, that'll be hilarious. Okay, I mean, to be f Oh, Jesus, what was that? You know what? You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. We're starting this again. We're starting this again. We're starting it again. I, I don't care. So this time, hopefully the battle's going to work, and this is tabs, and honestly, there's no point guessing that it's gonna work, because normally it doesn't. Hopefully nothing flies past my face again. Let's see what happens with the cavalry charge. The special forces, they all just literally melted like butter on impact. Wow, that was actually horrifying to watch. Let's see if the Roman soldiers can break through the front gates. It looks like these Roman soldiers are going to be moving in completely uncontested here. And oh, interestingly, for some reason these guys have decided to come around this way instead of going through their way. Wait, hold on. They also don't seem to think they can get through here? That's not quite what I had in mind, boys. There is one thing we can do to help these gentlemen to the top of this hill, I guess. Yeet! 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 Okay, there we go. They should be over the hill now. If the pathfinding on this map worked, it would be one of the most elite maps. Let's just take a second to just zoom out and appreciate the absolutely incredible design of this map. Oh, actually, sorry, I'll tell you what, once they get past that one little hill bit, the rest of it seems to work as expected. Go on, boys, take down the flag bearers. Let's see what you can do. Get him, get him, get him. Yes! Leonitis with the treasure and his two chosen swordsmen. To get there, the Roman soldiers are gonna have to make their way down these staircases here. They're also gonna have to fight through this room and all the way around. It's gonna be a messy fight, but you know what? I think they've got the numbers to do it, if I'm honest. Okay, what's this? Okay, there's two archers standing in their way. A couple of them appear to have just decided they're just, uh, they're just gonna get drunk at the table. Fair enough, boys. I don't blame you. If my pathfinding was like this, I think I'd probably join you. Okay, some of them are trying to go back. Only one soldier has figured out where to go. So he's got to be- so how, somehow he's gonna have to kill all of them on his own. Watch him, watch him. Okay, excellent. Why- 
Why did I expect anything else? An executive decision. Bug the LC. We're turning it on. And we're murdering all these stay banners. They've all got to die. Okay, so I believe all the stay banners have now been killed. So basically what's going to happen is all these guys are now going to make their way round to the Romans who are stuck in the, I don't know, the, the feeding room. Oh, I never saw this cheeky little hole here. Oh no, it's because it's not a cheeky little hole. <laughs> it's a staircase. But the rest of these units now should be fighting the enemy. Okay, so a good handful of them making their way round here. But now what should be happening is these Roman soldiers are now going to be getting attacked by the rest of the Spartan units. So it's going to force the engagement. Oh my god. Lads, what are you doing? Why have you done this? Time to die! I'm not sure why they're collecting here. Oh, maybe it's this guy hiding around the corner there. Let's dig him out and see what- Yeah, it might have been this guy here that was confusing them all. So I got more reinforcements moving in up the top there. I think all the Roman soldiers are going to be just chilling around here. Oh, they've moved! Uh, they've gone to murder those guys up there. Okay, boys, try not to die. I've made a terrible mistake. Mistake. I've made a terrible mistake. Please stand up and fight. Oh no! Oh my god, am I can I can I survive this? Can I legit survive this? How am I not dead yet? 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 You're oh I'm dead yet. Okay, finally, something's actually happening. Those guys have been murdered, and now these Romans are oh, they're just beating on it. Oh, that guy's in a bit of a predicament there. Somehow he's still alive. I'll tell you what, boys, we're gonna take control of this guy, and you know what? I wanna make a last stand, so he's got to die. Oh my oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Yo! Get wrecked, nerd. I wish you could teabag. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to brrr, whatever that noise was on his body. Why can't I hit you? There we go. Die. Oh, very bad timing for me. Oh my, oh no. Who's the last unit for the, ooh. Oh no, oh no, run, 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 run. Cover me, covering fire, covering fire. Woo! Oh my God, okay, he got the kill. No. This is the battle of Marathon. So the Persians are gonna land on the coast here. And then what they've got to do is they've got to make their way all the way through this position here and then scoop up to the left, fight their way through this area here, through the front door, kill all the Greek units in here, make their way along. Did they, no, where did they go? Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So they've got to go over this bridge. And then once they get over this bridge here, they get into this final compound here. And let's put the Greek leader all the way back here in this temple. So first things first, let's put down the Persians. You know, attention to detail matters. So we're just going to do this again. Wow, it looks so nice. Okay, so that's going to be the Persian formation. And isn't the formation just a thing of beauty? I mean, look at that. It took so long setting this up. It was like, honestly, it's... Whew. Now let's get some Spartans down. Or let's get... Sorry, not Spartans. Greek. I suppose it's Athens, really. Disgusting. A small head. What do you, <laughs> what, what do you reckon, boys? Is it, is it me? What about this guy? What about this absolute mutant hunchback? Let me let me try and let me try and role play this guy. <coughs> what even are my videos? What, what am I even doing? Bro, I need to do some multiplayer games. I'm losing my mind. Okay, so the Battle of Marathon's lines have been set. The Persian army very carefully placed formation down here. They're gonna be charging all the way through here. They're gonna take down this initial spear form formation, make their way up round the sides, where they're then gonna have to fight through another choke point plus a bunch of civilians, including a disgusting small head that looks like me, and a mutant hunchback. Then once they've done that, they're gonna be doubling back over here, taking down this spear formation in a epic bridge battle because content, and then they're gonna fight their way through even more civilians who will die, and then right at the very back of the map, we've then got not Leonidas and not Spartan soldiers because this is the Battle of Marathon, and that wouldn't make sense. So let the charge begin and oh my god, it's going to be a pretty heavy start to the battle here, boys. Let's- Oh no, that's not about to happen, is it? Are they about to just team kill all their own units with arrows? Yes, that's exactly what's gonna happen, it would seem. I'm pretty sure they killed a lot more of their own units there than they did anything else, so good effort there, lads. The last few Greek units are about to go down. There we go, I think they're all dead. Let's see how far these guys can get. Come on, we'll go to the next stage of the battle here. Oh, I'm not quite sure what's happening up here. Not sure how this is gonna work. Oh no, did the stay banner just die? Yes, it did. Oh, Oh no, if they get some arrows in there, it's gonna be savage. Bro, it's going to be absolutely savage. How many of those guys are gonna die? Actually, they're just gonna start falling off the edge. Yeah, these are these are civilians. These guys are actually going to win. This is actually embarrassing. The civilians of Marathon are about to breach the lines of the Persians. Oh, hold on. Where did these reinforcements just come from? Were they where were they? Wait, what? How have some of them got up there? Did he literally run up the wall? Okay, sure thing. So maybe the Persians aren't gonna lose, because look at this. Reinforcements are on the way and they're moving in pretty quickly. Also, I hope you like PowerPoint presentations because that's what you're gonna get. Oh, some of the most mediocre content a man could ask for. 
Now, I know what you guys subscribe for, and let's be honest, it is a pile of bodies, and I feel like I am I'm supplying the content that you subscribe for right here. I mean, this is a pretty serious pile of bodies here, and also, it's in PowerPoint format. Extra fun. I mean, come on, it's just corpses as far as the eye can see. I think it's like two or three men deep. This is one of the better piles we've made so far. So we've actually got quite a lot of civilians on this other side defending the gateway. It probably doesn't help that they're, like, firing piles of arrows into their back. Ah, yes. How most of my tabs battles end. Now, this map looks absolutely epic. Look at these walls, man. They're really, really well done. Even the road looks absolutely sick. I mean, basically, the idea is that the Greeks are going to be defending this city here against a medieval army. And you know what? It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, but we're going to put down medieval France as the attackers just because it's a really nice faction and I kind of just want an excuse to use it. Okay, so the French army is going to be- wow, I didn't even realize. Hold on a second. Yeah, of all the French cavalry, literally none of them are riding their horse. I- I- I-, I yeah. Now we've got halberds on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Behind them we've got a bunch of French knights and then we've also gonna finish up the formation with a bunch of archers on either side of the battlefield. Now all of these fine gentlemen here are going to be charging down the center into the city. Okay, so what we've got for the Greek defenders of this city, we've got the peltists on the walls who are just gonna be launching spears at the incoming French medieval knights. We've also got a big old counter cavalry charge and even more peltists on the other wall. Then, as we make our way back to the city, on each of the two openings, we've got a bunch of Greek hoplites defending it. And I mean, come on, like, that's that's a significant amount of spearmen. And then there's also gonna be a bunch of archers, civilian archers, lining the walls. Then, as the medieval knights make their way round to the top section through here, we've got some more elite Greek units here. Again, with some peltists on the wall that will be throwing their spears over the edge of the incoming enemy. And then round the corner here, we've got Leonidas, who has a very very long neck for some reason. It's gonna be pretty easy to cut that. So that's what the Greek soldiers have to defend their city. And once again, I mean, this map is pretty sick. But does the pathfinding actually work? Well, we're about to find out. The cavalry charge in the center has gone in and it's a complete and utter bloodbath. Some of the cavalry's on the walls and that suggests that the peltists are not gonna be lasting very long. Goodbye. Yeah, that uh, initial start to the battle is looking pretty good for the medieval French soldiers. I've got to admit, the cavalry, can they get up here to take down these peltists? That's the question. These peltists going pretty strong, actually, here. He's desperately trying to get up there, but he's having a hard time. If he gets up there, it's goodbye for the peltists. Oh, no, actually, it's goodbye to the peltists anyway. Oh, but I was not paying attention. Wow! How did I miss that from happening? Okay, a couple of the French knights have made their way in, and oh my god. Did they just- What? <laughs> what just happened there? Okay, well, hopefully they don't just absolutely humiliate the last few units we've got around the corner here. Come on, boys. You can put up a tougher defense than that, surely. Come on, please don't all just get slaughtered by this one Lancer. Oh, no, they're all getting slaughtered by that one Lancer. Turns out Lancer's pretty overpowered. Uh, he would... Oh, my God. It's like a death stick. He just... It's just like whatever it touches just immediately dies. Oh, my God. Um... Okay, then. Oh, there's another one coming around. Excellent. Well, Leonisus, you got your work cut out for you here, soldier. He's worth two... Nah. He's worth 2,500 points and you just offed him like he was at- Bro, hold on a second. Who's even left? Who's left in his- Oh, no. Oh, oh, I see what's happened here. I don't know why, but what's happening right now is giving me quite a considerable amount of joy. How are they not dead? It's literally resting on his neck. Oh, oh, no. One halberd unit got in. Look at this one Greek archer. And then look at, uh, look at his hosting party. Place your bets in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you think's winning this battle? You're in trouble now, sunshine. You're in trouble now. I'm amazed he's alive. There we go. Okay, let's have a quick look at this map. I presume this is made by the same person because the aesthetic is mwah. Okay, so this is the defender's army for the Spartan hoplites. So just to recap, for the Persian army, we've got a bunch of cavalry. We've got swordsmen. Behind that, we've then got the archers. Then right at the back, we've got the Persian immortals plus their officer units. Now for the Greek defenders in this battle, we've got some cavalry, which is going to counter charge the Persians. Then just inside the wall, we've got even more hoplites 
are gonna charge through the front gates and hopefully hold them back for long enough for the peltists on the walls to throw spears down at the enemy and catch them off guard. Once they inevitably do make their way into this compound, we're gonna have a bunch of Greek archers firing down into the center and all the way along this maze of networks they've got to make their way through, there's gonna be swordsmen, there's gonna be spearmen, and there's going to be more missile throwers. Now, how do they, how do they actually get up here? How do they... Okay, I've just realized that there's actually no way for them to get up here. But you know what? I'm gonna leave them here anyway, because I imagine they're probably just gonna fall off and die, so... Well, let's find out with the initial charge in the center here. Wow. Okay, well, everyone there has pretty much immediately died, and oh my god. Once again, some brutal friendly fire there. Let's see what these Greek soldiers can... Well, not much by the looks of it. They're, they're almost all dead, but are they gonna die in time for the... Oh my god, the reign of arrows once again that is absolutely savage what is going on down here why are they still here are they oh there's still a greek unit alive if he stays alive for another one of those arrow storms oh he has as well he has as well oh my god the arrow storm's just gonna continue team killing so pretty much all the greek units died before the battle is even started so well done on that front gentlemen a few of them are gonna enter the compound but they're gonna find that they're walking into a complete and utter kill box down here yeah i'll tell you what this is this is looking more and more like a Persian victory. <laughs> Sorry, a Greek victory. Commentary skills, 100. Although I've been wrong before and it is possible that I could be wrong again, believe it or not. You know what, actually, no, screw that, screw that, screw that. Stop, 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 stop. This is bait. They all got team killed by their own units, okay? We're not having that. That's not a real conclusion to this battle. We're getting rid of the team killers and we're starting again. Let's see what happens. Why is it zoomed me out so far? Why has it done this? Why am I all the way back here? Again, though, that map just looks absolutely absolutely incredible. I just wish people would test the pathfinding a bit more. Okay, all the cavalry has still died, but nobody's really been team killed in the water. I guess that's the key distinction here. Or are they just drowning? It's also possible they're just kind of drowning as well, because at this time a lot of them died again. This is quite the interesting perspective. <laughs> this is this is something, isn't it? Okay, well, we're not restarting it again. We're gonna see what happens this time, because this is more of a legit battle. To be fair, more of them have survived, and more of them definitely are making it into the compound. We're gonna take our hands off and see what happens here. Yeah, I don't think the I don't think the Persians stand a chance. Okay, what we are gonna do though, and you know what time it is, it's the time of day where we murder all the stay banners. Okay, I think that's all of them dead. Let's just uh okay, the battle's actually gonna continue now. Excellent. Yeah, it's good to kill the stay banners, otherwise the battle just kind of never progresses. I mean, this is gonna be much more interesting now seeing the Spartan units. Oh, no! One survived the culling. I don't believe it. Okay, he survived it, we'll let him live. He doesn't appear to be impacting the battle too much here because the Persians are still moving around. Okay, it's uh, it's archers against hoplites. I, I think I knew who was winning that one. Oh my god. Well, join my discord. Hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.